Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I thought I would make this review video for the series Lovely Rider. Now obviously, spoilers alert in case you haven't watched the series yet. First thing I would like to talk about with the series is the actual cinematography and the editing of the series. Now for me, the shots themselves weren't so bad, especially in the finale when they did those fairy tale parody scenes, and it just felt pleasing to the eye in some cases. Where my problem lies is the actual editing and the actual actual pacing of the different scenes, specifically with how dragging a lot of them can be. Like there have been a lot of cases with different scenes that we're just simply watching the character just be in the kitchen or just sit around for a few minutes in complete silence. And that is really where I felt like this series was really failing in terms of us watching the series and keeping us entertained in some way. Because honestly, I would not want to have to watch someone just do something in their kitchen in complete silence and we're just sitting there like... So is something gonna happen? Now going towards the more in-depth stuff with this series, first of all, I wanna talk about the storyline. Well, of course, this series had a very unique premise already, which is about an author, Jean, who ends up falling in love with one of his actors, Nubsib. However, what I like that the series did is that they took that premise of a storyline and added more real-life situations in it because they also were able to incorporate the different things that will happen to those that are behind the scenes of these different BL series. Like with Lovely Writer, we got to see what happens during the creation of a series, the different meetings, and what goes on, as I said, behind the scenes. Which typically is not something we see because we always just see the actors going on you know, events and lives and stuff, but we don't know what's happening happening behind the screen. And that is something that I like that Lovely Writer did, is that they were able to showcase that and be able to bring awareness to the fans and let them know that this can be happening to their favorite actors. And they'll just be there distracted by, oh, their good looks or their ships sailing or something, you know? And speaking of the fans, you guys, including me, is that this series was able to showcase the different ways that their fans can act towards their favorite actors or idols. And it just sucks because I know that this happens a lot in real life as well. From the different hate comments they'll send to their different ship wars that'll happen on social media. A lot of that is happening and I'm, yeah, I'm witness to that. Which by the way, I just want to quickly say, at the end of the day, I just hope that you fans would be able to at least treat these people, your favorite idols or actors with some form of respect as well. Like it's okay to give them support for their different projects or events but I would not go as far as to just leaving hate comments all over their page or going wherever they go just to get a picture with them. Just treat them with respect because at the end of the day, they are people as well. And then just to end my thoughts about the actual storyline of the series, I like the way that this series was able to cap off and in a way circle back to episode 1 which is that we saw the cameo from the author of the actual story of Lovely Writer and then they recalled that the story that they making is going to be adapted into a series. Just like how we were introduced to Jean in episode 1. And honestly, I just really like that little callback, circle back moment that we got at the finale of the episode. Okay, this next part I would like to talk about, the characters. This is where things are gonna get a bit iffy in a way. Now from what I was able to tell throughout all 12 episodes is that Jean is really someone who just really cares about his job and he really cares about the people around him. He's able to be aware of things and he knows what can be right for others and as well for himself. I really feel like Jean has been just using his little writer brain throughout this entire time that we were following his story. From episode 1, we saw him type out his little story and then he was able to call out what some people may think as romantic. It's actually the complete opposite. Which honestly, once I saw that, I knew. I was going to love Jean. And by the end of episode 12, I was right. I love Jean. <clears throat> but not as much as Nubsib. So anyway, speaking of Nubsib, <laughs> Nubsib for me had a little mix of emotions for me. Because when I first met him in the earlier episodes, he really came across as someone that was really sketchy. He was always following Jean around. He wants to be with Jean. Which... And then he also had that moment wherein he just gave Jean the pink dragon and just put it behind his shelf, which I'll admittedly thought that there was like a camera in there or something. But in the end, I feel like there was not really much in depth to him. Besides, he's just someone who really loves Jean and he wants to take care of Jean. It seemed like a bit more of a straightforward character, which is fine, honestly. Okay, I would just like to also also talk about the other characters. 
Specifically, Oi first. Now, I've noticed a lot of fans felt this way as well, but we are like so mixed with how to feel towards him. Because there was that one episode that was solely focused on his backstory with his family, and I think that was really for us to, I guess, feel bad for him in some way, knowing what he's been through. But at the same time, I can't really sympathize with him too much because he did end up doing a lot of bad things, such as, you know, going on live and then pretty much making the situation between Dubsib and Jean much worse than it already should be. So even though he has that tragic backstory and it's so sad, your actions that you do now can't really take away anything else. And by the finale, we might not have gotten like a proper redemption arc for him, but I guess that's something that not everyone is gonna be having, which honestly is so sad, but that's just oi for you, I guess. Now to end my little character analysis part of the review, I would just like to talk about some of the other people that we saw in the series. Starting with this dude. Does anyone remember him? Me neither. Now this is another aspect of Lovely Writer wherein I was just like, eh, this could have been improved on or done differently in some way. We were introduced to these different characters, but many of their storylines, it didn't really seem to contribute much to this actual full storyline in my opinion. Like besides Mork, we also have him. Which, I'll be honest, I liked him when we first met him. The thing is, is that we saw these different problems that he was going through from money problems and then him also having the dream to become a writer like his friend Jean. However, his storyline, it did not really feel fleshed out so much and it was introduced to us just to know him a bit more but then, as I said, not much else was added to it throughout the rest of the episodes. Same goes with these two. Dom and Tiffy. They had their little, you know, chemistry love story thing, you know. On paper, I guess it seemed cool, like with the breaking gender stereotypes type of couple, which is nice to see. However, as I said, it did not really contribute much to the full storyline. Like, I can just remember when Tom confessed to Tiffy in that boxing gym, I was like, um, did we need to see that? Okay, some of you may think that they were cute and you love them, whatever, but this is just what I think. Same goes with this full review. This is just what I think, honestly. I would just like to honestly see a series come along wherein we see all of these different storylines play out and yet it feels like it's so balanced between all of them. Now one thing I would just like to quickly cap off with this little review is the actual music of this series. Now honestly, the theme song is a pop. And I also actually like the song that was playing during the breakup scene in episode 11. So I guess that's going to be it for my review for Lovely Writer. I guess overall thoughts about this series is that it is not a perfect series, obviously. However, execution and what they were trying to go for, or at least what it seemed like they were trying to go for, I saw it. And I wish that more people would actually pay attention to what this series was trying to portray and show us. And I actually like that. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you guys thought about the entire series of Lovely Writer. All my social media links will be in the description box below. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell post notification so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video whenever I could possibly make one. 